So we went for basket mouse party on the set of my flatmates. This is the only video I got from the party anyways, but I deceived the girl that was recording her. You know, so she was dancing heavily. That's why these guys behind me are happy. The, the, the girl doesn't know anything. The night can, can just end like that after basket mouse party. Myself and Romeo, we went out to see a couple of friends who we just knew. This one is Drama Queen on Instagram. Cool people, very cool. She's just there, she's we're having a good conversation. Then here's her sister, her friend, who is like her sister anyway, a professional photographer, dirty photography. Her real name is Diana. So we're just talking. I can't be seen on this video because I'm the one recording. Okay, I finally showed myself. So you see. So we're chilling at a place in Lekki called Bay, Bay Lounge. You know. And then good conversation beside the uh, water. Then we felt like the place wasn't good enough. Let's go to Farm City where we can really, 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 really enjoy the breeze coming from the water because this bay lounge is like it's choked so there are too many people there you'll be shocked what we saw at bay lounge she's always using a camera don't worry about that <laughs> so now we're at farm city music is blasting we ordered food we have to wait they said 20 minutes but this time i was recording this video it was more than 40 minutes so i was already angry because i was hungry it's 2 a.m in the morning and we're just waiting for the girl to bring the food, okay? So at this point, Diana was taking pictures. We were all just looking and then something happened. These boys came on the cane on the boat and they started asking us for money, okay? And then we started asking them questions like, what are you guys doing here? The dead, you know, of the night. The boys said they came out for fishing. I was touched, you know. I gave them money, but you're not going to see that in this video. But then we're having, you know, good conversations with these boys. Actually, I thought it was just this guy until I saw his brother, you know, who later showed me the fish, you know, that they caught. I think they caught only one at this point. But the boy kept saying, I know you, I know you, I know you. Like a comedian. I was like, okay. I thought he was like a, you know, native boy, village boy who didn't know what's up, you know, probably don't have TV in their house, but I realized that this boy knows me because he was calling her name, and as we were doing that, Diana on the other end was taking pictures, but I was just having good conversation with this boy, okay? Yeah, so I'm going to let you hear a bit of what he said. Now you say you need for money to change, if you get a problem, call God now. Ah, I mean, I know that you have to be smoking. You still be smoking, you can't say water for a night. Oh, good, why are you doing that? I don't understand. Oh, there's another guy there. What are you doing there, sir? Okay, I said, you see what I did? I said, what are you doing there? I'm not going to listen for you, not before you. So, the reason why I can't let you hear that voice anymore is there's a music playing in the background. YouTube may sanction me, but then this is the younger brother who happened to be the fisherman, right? That guy is the one, you know, paddling the canoe. Then I asked them, have you guys caught any fish? And the boy said, yes. Then he decides to show me the one they've caught. Just hold on, hang on in there, you are going to see it now. Ta-da! That's the fish they caught yet. I don't know if there are more, but from the way I'm looking at it, I'm not sure there's more. So I gave them money. And so they left. So the boy made a new friend and he said bye bye to me. I turned to his younger brother. That guy was busy asking somebody else money. Who said they left? <laughs> They're in the next place asking for money. Wow. Lagos also. Now what? I didn't drive, so I took a cab. And as we were going, the driver was lamenting about how girls who come out at night and risk their lives to hustle. He was complaining so much and I decided to make the driver happy by yelling at one of the girls. <laughs> Just pay attention and listen closely. You hear what I said to the girl right now. Go and sleep. I just said that to make the driver happy and he was quiet all through. He stopped complaining and I said, yes, I won. So ladies and gentlemen, that's how the night went. And uh, Well, 
I had a great night basically. That's my point. You still want to hear the driver a little bit. Okay, I'll let you listen. 2000. Friday night. Friday night. You would do many, taxi. How much should they make it? How many <laughs> rounds? Let's say you want to say how many rounds? If you agree, you do two rounds. Yeah. The third one no go come up. Now people where they patronize them. Now. So, wow. Uh, uh, bless all these police, they're not tired for this place. Don't carry me, no guy. Let me say, I spent almost six hours with him from around 11 till 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. in the morning. They give me six thousand. I mean, how much? Maybe six thousand. I mean, I seven thousand. Right when it be my presence, it they price two girls like this twenty-five, twenty-five thousand. Yeah. Those ones. Now around six a.m. Those ones they tell us they make two hundred thirty. Say you no, know, two of you fifty. For this lucky. Yes, now for uh, around uh, that new new side. Right Street, then turn left onto Shakiru and Joran Street. Turn right onto Shakiru and Joran Street. This is a person that gave me for, for almost the whole night. I didn't go anywhere, I didn't do any work. Oh. The job part, I it yes. Yeah. See, see, one pin. That's the time where I change out for now, sir. I'm friends.